Welcome to a special edition of Pirates in the Hall, Academic Integrity. What is academic dishonesty? Like cheating on tests and stuff, basically like looking for ants, like looking off of other people's answers or like not, not like storing your knowledge in like your own head. Like not doing, like following the rules that your teacher tells you to follow and like just looking at another person's paper when you don't know the answer. Unfairly figuring out the, the questions to a test or the answers to questions on a test. Writing things down and using them on a test or quiz or something because you don't know the answers. Just not doing your own work and having someone else do it for you and just copying off of them. Academic dishonesty is when you claim somebody else's work is your own or when you are taking a test and you copy somebody else's answer. Dishonesty, I think that if you are looking at someone else's paper when you are taking a test or copying someone else's homework or if you just look things up online and you're not citing your sources and then that's considered plagiarism. Using other resources to help yourself that you don't actually already know. Uh, so <laughs> would you say like just uh, piggybacking off of someone else's work just to get the grade? Basically, copying off of someone else's hard work, and yeah, that's all I get. <laughs> Probably anything that you don't come up with would be considered cheating. Yeah, stealing other people's work that you know isn't your own. Yes. Looking off someone's test when you can. Why is cheating wrong? Why is cheating wrong? Uh, <laughs> I don't think cheating is wrong because um, because it, no one's getting hurt. You're really just, except you. So if you're just doing it to yourself, because then you're just, you don't, you're hurting yourself. And that's it. So I don't think it's really wrong. I'd say cheating is wrong. You're not helping anybody, especially yourself. You're putting yourself at a worse disadvantage because you don't know the material, which is why you're using somebody else's work. So. I think it's just very unbeneficial to everyone in the situation. So. I think cheating is wrong on tests because you're not really questioning what you do and don't know. So when the final comes up, you're not going to know what to study and what not to study. Cheating is wrong because it's not, you're not even doing, you're not doing your work. How often do you see it? I don't really see people cheat, but I know like people have, like people will tell me after like they cheated or something. Uh, I think. I think I, I actually think like 100% of people cheat, or they have before. Mm -hmm. I've never like personally seen someone cheat, but like I've people have told me that they looked at my paper on a test, and like I think like 60% of kids cheat. cheat. I as well don't see cheating happen very often, but I do think a lot of people still do it, mostly on homework. But that's about it. I think every single person has cheated, probably or like and like in like some form. So yeah. I think it's pretty common. I think the more severe the assignment is, the the less I see the cheating. You rarely see people cheat on a test because it's so severe and they know the punishments that come with it, but it's easy to ask someone for the answers to homework, so. Why do you think people cheat? I think a lot of times people cheat just because they're in a bind, they forgot something was happening, they're not sure how to do something, they didn't study, and they get nervous and get flustered that they might get a bad grade, so they look to somebody else. Uh, I think people cheat because they could be uninterested in what they're learning about, they don't understand what's going on, or they just honestly don't care. Uh, so you just say the same thing. If you don't care about the thing you want to learn about, then you're not going to put any effort into learning it, so then you're just left with nothing at that point. Well, I think there's two different sides what they said, and that, you know, a student could be hardworking, studying on one subject, and then forget about the other subject, and totally forget that there's a test going on. So yeah. I think people cheat because they don't know the answer and they're too lazy to figure it out themselves. Uh, more convenient to them than doing the work. People cheat sometimes because they don't have enough time to study, so they think that cheating would be the best option to get a good grade. What are the consequences for cheating? Do you think a zero is a fair consequence? I think that a zero is a fair consequence for cheating because your teacher is giving you this assessment to see what they know and you're not showing them what you know by cheating on an assignment. I think that cheating on a homework assignment maybe is a little bit less impactful of your grade if you get a zero, whereas cheating on a test could really negatively impact your grade, so. I think a zero is a fair consequence because I, I mean, there's like, there's really no other way, like you can't give like another test to them because they'll like already know, you know, so I think it is a fair consequence. 
I don't think that a zero is a fair consequence. I think that they should retake the test with like what they used to cheat, like just without the just alone in a room with the teacher. I don't think a zero is a fair consequence if it's a first offense, but if they've done it like for every test, then it's a fair consequence. Zero on the uh, work you were supposed to do. Um, you just zero, but I've but the, there is some classes where they'll like cut off all extra credit that just opportunities in general. I do think a zero is fair because I mean you just copied off of someone's hard work. So oftentimes the consequence is just a zero, or if it's a chronic issue, then it becomes an office issue, a parent issue. But the main consequence of cheating is you're not being able to learn the you material. Can the so. I think the consequences honestly depend on what it is. If I have stu two students who cheated on a homework packet where their answers are the exact same, then I give them the opportunity to say who cheated off of who and give the person an opportunity to redo it. But if it's something like a major assessment, then I do think they deserve that zero because that's academic dishonesty and that's integrity and they weren't displaying that. Integrity, doing the right thing when no one is watching. Hey pirates, do you have integrity?